Hi, my name is Andy Jones and I'm calling from the Syracuse VA about your request for a call back. Am I speaking to Veteran Smith? Yep, hi. Hi, so I'm glad you requested a call back. So part of my job is to talk to veterans about the decision on whether mental health treatment may be helpful for them. Can you tell me why you requested a call back? I just uh, wanted to see what the VA had to offer. Okay. Well, because the VA offers so many different types of services, it would be helpful for me to learn more about you so I can give you the right information. Can you tell me why you requested a call back or a little bit about yourself? Okay, so, so far you've told me that you have trouble sleeping, you drink beer to help you fall asleep, and your wife thinks you drink too much. You also struggle with back pain, and you like to keep to yourself as many places and people make you feel uncomfortable. And when you tried professional treatment before, it didn't work. Does that sound accurate? Yep, I say so. So what are your thoughts about trying professional help again? Honestly, I, I don't have time for it. I see. Are there any other reasons you have for not trying professional help again? Well, uh, with working everything, the appointments are tough and I don't want to be on medication. And the only thing that's left is talk therapy, right? And last time I did talk therapy, it made everything worse. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Mr. Smith, I want to make sure I understand your thoughts on getting treatment. You said you don't want to miss work to attend treatment. You don't want to take meds and talk therapy made you feel worse last time. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what I said. If you thought that treatment would actually work, do you think you could make time for it? Maybe, I, I can't miss work though. No, I understand that. That makes perfect sense, you know? Work is important. When do you work? I go in at seven and I get off at four. Every day? Monday to Saturday. Okay, got it. So if you thought it would work, it sounds like you need an appointment sometime after 4 p.m. Okay, so let's talk about your other concerns. You said you don't want to take medication and talk therapy just made things worse. You know, medication is only one form of treatment. You can get treatment without taking medication. Do you want to talk about treatment without medication? Okay. Okay, so tell me more about what therapy was like for you before. Well, the lady that I was meeting with was, was nice and all, but she really wanted to know about everything that happened in Afghanistan. And then she found out about my bad childhood and she wanted to talk about that too. You know, I, I tried, you know? But before I knew it, I, I was a wreck. I, I couldn't sleep. I was yelling at my kids. I was missing work. It was just like, enough is enough. It was, it was horrible. Wow. Yeah, that sounds like a really intense experience. I can understand why you wouldn't want to repeat that. You know, not all talk therapy works that way. Would you be open to learning more about other types of talk therapy? I guess you can tell me about it. Well, it sounds like you were doing trauma-focused therapy. And this could be really helpful for a lot of people, but it's not the only type of treatment that can help. You mentioned earlier that you're most concerned about your sleep right now. One thing you could do is talk to a behavioral health provider specifically about sleep. They can discuss different strategies for improving your sleep. Things like looking at what you're eating, how much exercise you're getting, you know, when you're trying to go to sleep and wake up. This can be really helpful for a lot of people. So what do you think? Would you be interested in trying? Yeah, that sounds okay. Also, I wanna share with you that trauma-focused therapy can be really hard at first, but it gets easier over time. You know, some people think of it like diving into a cold lake. The cold is really intense at first, but then you acclimate and it becomes bearable. At some point, you might wanna think about taking that dive and trying trauma-focused therapy again. I'll think more about that. I don't know if I can manage that now. Hey, I'm glad you're willing to think about it. Also, therapy can give you a lot of tools to help you cope with distress. Okay. So let's review what we've discussed so far. You said you don't want to miss work to attend treatment, but you could go to an appointment after work. You said you don't want to take meds, but you're willing to try other treatment. You said that talk therapy made you feel worse last time, but now you're willing to try other talk therapy that's focused on sleep strategies. And you'll think more about doing trauma-focused therapy in the future. Does that sound correct? Yes. 
Good. I'm glad you're willing to talk to someone about your sleep. I'll have a consult place for you to see a VA provider for sleep with a note that you need an appointment for after 4 p.m. And once you get to know the provider, you can decide whether they may be able to help you in other areas too. How do you feel about that plan? I'll give it a try. I just really hope it, it helps. I hope it helps too. I'll be calling you in a month to see how you're doing and to see how the sleep treatment is going. Is that okay? Sure. Thanks for talking to me today. I'm glad you reached out to us. We'll talk again next month. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm glad you requested a call back. Can you tell me why you decided to request a call back? Just wanted to see what the VA had to offer. Okay, let me tell you about the VA. We offer primary care services and mental health services. I'm going to give you a number so you can enroll in the VA. You should call them. Um, okay. Can I help you with anything else today? No, thanks. Bye. What are your thoughts about trying professional help again? Honestly, I just don't have time for it. Are you ever available for appointments? I work Monday through Saturday, seven to four. Oh, great. We have evening support groups for veterans that you can attend after work. Please get a pen and paper so that you can take down this information.